My name is Joan Marie. So how did my life as an artist begin? Oh, after I was done with high school. High school, I felt like a moderate artist, so I didn't major in art. But I did take some art classes. Then I went, over the summer, I went to Europe. I got to Italy, and guess what I got to see? The Sistine Ceiling. So there I am, at the Sistine Ceiling, looking up. I had what I consider an out-of-body experience, or whatever. I just lost myself. I was so moved, so inspired, so swooning with emotion that I just said, if art can be this powerful, I have to be a part of it. So, I got serious, went back to college, started as an art major, dove in, full-fledged, tried my hardest, did everything I could do to be the great artist that I had my heart set on. And here a teacher comes in life drawing class and says, Joan, why don't you just become a home economics major <laughs> instead of an artist because you just are not creative. And I said with tears in my eyes, is creativity something you can learn or do you just have to be born with it? He said, you just have to be born with it and you have not been born with it. <clears throat> okay, moving right along. So I said, you just have no idea. I said this to myself. <laughs> I said, you have no idea how bad I want to be an artist. So I just continued on. Then I started my career as a high school art teacher in the public school system and developed a schedule where I did my teaching job, loved my job and came home, had a 20 minute power nap, and then I just dove into classes, practiced my art, drew my art, just did my art constantly, 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 and developed my skills, got better and better and better, and I started to succeed with my goal. After seeing the Sistine Ceiling, my goal was to create artwork that expressed a positive energy, a positive feeling, something that inspired or lifted your soul, or spoke to you, something that just added something to your life. So my art started developing. I'm cutting a whole lot of stories out here. My art started developing and I developed the ability to uh, license my artwork nationally on products all over the world. It was really cool. I'll, I'd walk in the mall and I'd see somebody walking with my artwork on a t-shirt. I'd go, whoa, I did that artwork. <laughs> no, you know, you do it too. Oh, well, anyway, so then, you know, I got my pro my artwork on puzzles and greeting cards and t-shirts. And then my drawings became large and expressive and I started having spiritual messages and purposes in every drawing. So, follow me down the hall when it is tranquility. Yay! I did it! Follow your intuition and you will know where to go in life. I want to show you one more drawing. This is about focusing, staying focused on what you want in your life, staying focused on your dreams. Then my life took an incredible turn that I could have never predicted. I shifted from all this beautiful, detailed drawing to abstract painting. Whoa. <laughs> I found it was just so releasing and fun and vibrant. To me, it represented freedom confidence, the confidence that I had always wanted in my life. Abstract painting for me was inspired by words that Picasso said. Picasso said that his goal was to combine the genius of an artist, the skill, the composition, this genius skill of an artist with the freedom of a child. So here I am just making these decisions and choices and freedom and I'm so connected so connected to God. It, every painting surprises me. I don't, I don't have a plan specifically. I just open myself up. I just go with the flow. I'm always listening to music. I'm inspired by the music, but I'm inspired by what comes through me and by trust and trust and confidence and relaxation and fun and freedom and excitement and loving colors and loving art and loving life. And it's just the culmination of all those things that has just been such an incredible experience, every single painting. So now I'm showing my abstract paintings in galleries and doing commission work, and I capture the energy of their song through an abstract painting. And it's so incredible. I just love it.
So art has become my life. It hasn't just changed my life. It has become my life. It is my greatest passion. I, every morning I can't wait to get up in the morning. You know, when you find what inspires you, you just want to do it over and over and over again. When I was 19 and I was inspired, it just changed my life drastically. Before that I felt like I was not exactly bored, but kind of uninteresting, kind of uninterested. And all of a sudden, when that life change moment happens, it just, ever since then, I have just been motivated, driven, and as my skill increased, things just started soaring. You know, the moments and the experience of just watching things improve. You know, first it was hard work to just develop my skill, and I just was determined to stick with the hard work. It wasn't exactly exhilarating, it was just work, but it was something I was determined to do. Now I'm at the point where I get all the benefits of, of the excitement and, and exhilaration. I could write an autobiography showing my art from the beginning when I first developed my technique, my own style, my own look, up until, you know, to the large expressive drawings, the inspirational drawings, to my abstract paintings. Watching the progress from those drawings to where I'm now, you can see the growth in my personality, the change in my personality, you can see my spiritual developing, development, see my connection to life. Art is just a magical experience. Hi, welcome to my world. This is my studio and I'm about to do an abstract painting. Here I'm squirting out acrylic paint from a mustard container. I've added a little water to make it a little thinner, squirting out little fun shapes, whatever moves me. It could be from music or just whatever I'm feeling or seeing. Oops, a little too much paint blotting up with a paper towel. Just squirting one color at a time. I've taken the time to pick out just the right colors ahead of time so I can just keep a fluid motion. There's many techniques I could show you, like I could spray rubbing alcohol. That makes really cool things. But here I'm taking a squeegee, deciding what motion to go, and he, I've decided to go straight down and then whoosh! Whoa! <laughs> I love it! So then we've got extra paint on the squeegee here, and might as well use it. So let's see, take it to the top, pull it down, spread it out a little bit, take it down in the middle, hmm, right in the middle, that looks good, and a little on the bottom, kind of give it a little finishing touch maybe. Ooh, that's good. Okay, now a whole nother painting. I'm squeezing paint out and then I put it in my hand and throw it from my hand. Uh, you could throw it with a spoon too. Here's a little finishing touch. What does the painting need? And here I'm having fun. Oh, it's so cool!